Welcome, just a quick update that I've added networked AI movement to the GTGD S1 tutorials. And there's now a new video 14 on Steam for that. And uh, let me just show it to you in action so you can see what the update is about. So I'll just create an internet match here. I just jump in and what's gonna happen is a bunch of AIs will get spawned and they'll be spawned across the network, okay? So that's them in the distance, the green AI. And once I get close enough, okay, they're gonna follow this player. And what I want to do is to go ahead and join in this uh, game right here. Hopefully I can get in quick enough so that you can see them. Uh, okay, well, they already reached their target, but the important thing is you'll see that they've been spawned at their correct locations. And now this um, is actually a, what I've made is a really, really, really efficient, uh, network efficient, uh, networked AI. So very, very little data is being sent uh, across the network to keep the AIs in sync. And all of the animation and the actual nav uh, mesh agent stuff is happening locally. So it looks really smooth uh, across the network regardless, because it's actually that's not what's getting sent uh, across the network and you can see that there in the distance I probably should have gotten a little bit closer so you could see it a bit better on the screen but here are all the AIs and now they're coming towards this player uh, and they can might swap quite easily as well depending on their overlap sphere that's what I use to detect the player uh, anyhow so that's what I wanted to share with you. So that's the latest update. And you'll find that in video 14, which is the final video for the new series one. And it's available on Steam. All right, so thanks for your attention. Thank you. And I hope to see you later.